Paul is writing here and he says, So then, just as you have received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to walk in Him, being rooted and built up in Him and established in the faith, just as you were taught, and overflowing with gratitude. Now, as you look at verses 6 and 7, one of the things that I want you to try to understand is that everything that you see in these two verses is the direct result of what God has done for you. And I want to go back and talk for a moment or two, taking this into context of Colossians, and establish for you what God has done for you. You being a son or daughter of God. Paul is writing there, and I want you to look and see, what has the Father done? Well, here in verse 12, He has enabled you, make this personally, you could read this, me, personally, He has enabled me to share in the saints' inheritance in the light. That's an amazing statement, just in and of itself. And then I want you to look at the next verse, what else has God done? And again, make this personal. He has rescued me from the domain of darkness and transferred me into the kingdom of the Son He loves. But Paul is not finished yet. He continues to talk about what God has done for us personally. Verse 14, In Him, I, or you, have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. And so when you look at Colossians 1, 12, 13, and 14, what you're seeing there is that God has given you a new status. This is your new reality. And I want you to understand that only God can make that happen. God is the only one that changes your status. There's no human, not yourself, not anyone else could do this for you. God is the one that does it for you.